Okay. Who's going first? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Jack. This is Laura. Uh, me and Laura met in 2012 when we both joined Knott's Police as uh, special constables. I think that's when we met Alex as well. Uh, I carried on and ended up joining Knott's Police, um, stayed until 2021. Laura very wisely continued with her career path um, rather than the police in animal nutrition. Uh, we joined Shift to Success in March 2021. We got married. Last year, August 2021. <laughs> uh, and things we like doing, uh, we like food, we like going out, uh, walking, going on holiday and traveling and stuff like that. And that's one of the motivations for wanting, us, uh, for wanting to start our own business. Um, so we'd always, I think both individually and as a couple sort of thought about what it would be like to work for ourselves or have our own business. Um, but I don't think we really, really had any proper ideas, did we? No. Um, the things we wanted, I suppose, were uh, no limitations, being able to do what we wanted, when we wanted, um, being able to have a sort of career path or a path that isn't defined by a uh, like a police promotion process or or whatever process your job was um financial freedom um but i think it was more about being able to do what we wanted when we wanted i think wasn't yeah, it? yeah and have yeah. what we want as well so uh, we started Lazy Days Gardening Services in May 2021. Prior to that, we'd had lots of ideas about what we were going to do. I think at one point we were going to sell cocktails, weren't we? <laughs> or whiskey uh, and cigars. It yeah, was like the food drink. It's thing. a little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> um, so we cover Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire, uh, and we do gardening landscaping grounds maintenance uh yeah I think. I think that's one of our first selfies that we had together as well so you had your bucket hat on didn't you yeah. <laughs> i didn't put the photo on of jack, jack mowing our not lawn funny. top <laughs> not funny <laughs> i didn't embarrass you uh so we started pretty much out the back of my car so we had a lawn mower and some hand tools out the back of the insignia and we were mowing lawns and doing a bit of weeding, jet washing and stuff like that. Uh, and then now we, we're doing, I suppose, more sort of glamorous type things. So we do uh, anything from laying slabs to artificial grass to sort of like fancy hedge trimming, raised beds and stuff like that. So it, it's it's almost like polar opposite I suppose it's quite yeah. quite a bit different I didn't I, I wouldn't have thought 12 months ago that we'd be doing stuff like that now yeah, yeah. and in terms of equipment as yeah, well yeah yeah so now, now we've got a proper van we've got loads of professional equipment and it's, it makes yeah. life easier yeah you're me? doing this one yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> should we swap up? yeah um, so Biggest win, so our first sale was uh, back in June 2021, so just after we'd registered the business. So that was um, a garden maintenance package, package. Um, so £100 a month we were selling that at, and that was through one of your family yeah. referring that. So that was our first ever sale. Revenue in the first year was 42000 <laughs> Um and that was pretty much us doing five days a week in our employed jobs and working on the business at weekends. Because obviously it is physical work. Um, it's not just stuff you can do at a desktop. So, yeah, it was quite a lot to, yeah. to do. So seven days a week, pretty much, we were, we were working. Um, then it came to kind of May um, 
this year and we secured um, a, a decent landscaping job. And it was kind of a case of, well, it's kind of now or never. You were going to be the first one to jump full time into the business, weren't you? Um, so, yeah, you became self-employed um, this year. Um, so we actually, that was actually one of our breakthrough goals when we were going through all the planning process of the portal. Uh, that was something that we put down for the end of 2023. So we actually actually smashed that. So yeah, yeah. yeah that was good. <laughs> um, so revenue year two to date, you've updated this, haven't you, Alex? Um, so, so far, um, we're on track for 45K. So we've pretty much doubled what we've done in our first year. So... Hopefully we'll be VAT registered next year. That's that's the plan. So yeah, it's um yeah, we're we're packed, yeah. packed of uh, leads are flying in, we're getting really good kind of customer feedback, um, we're getting loads of five star reviews, um, yeah, and it's just amazing like to have some really like satisfied customers, isn't it? Mm. Right, how do I go forward on this? There we are. Um so I just wanted to cover cover a bit on the marketing side. So we're not doing anything really fancy on the marketing but some of the key things that really work for us um, is getting our business set up on google um, so if you're looking for a plumber or an electrician or a gardener like i think typically you type in on google garden near me for example um, so ensuring that we've got a really good profile set up we've got all the photos kind of up to date um, and getting those those reviews coming in um, so i think so far that's actually old we've got about 14 five-star reviews so every customer that we have we just make a point of saying look can you give us a um leave us a review so that's worked really well for us and um, we've done some kind of leafleting flyering that's been quite successful um, and some local magazine advertising as well, which until recently, I didn't know how successful that was, um, but we've had some sales out of that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue with that going forward. Um, social media, so the key platforms for us are Facebook and Instagram. So I don't know if any of you have seen Jack doing his live, <laughs> live Instagram videos. Well, they've gone Very down. Doing, yeah. <laughs> they've gone down pretty well. Um, and I, <laughs> I think it just adds like a bit more of a, a personable kind of nature to our business as well, which people really like. Um, and then website as well. So Adam, where's Adam? Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so we we created a website, or Adam created our website for us earlier this year. So again, that just adds that extra layer of credibility to our to our business and helps us showcase our work as well. So what's next? Uh, first things first, we're finally going to go on our honeymoon in November. Um, so thirty nine days and counting. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, South Africa, and Mauritius. So yeah, excited about that. Um, so once we've done that, so scaling up, that'll be the next thing we're going to look at taking on an apprentice next year, hopefully. Um, it makes more sense for us to take on an apprentice than me to leave my job at the moment. Um, more team members uh, and outsource more of the day-to-day the -day tasks as well. Uh, VAT registered. I'll at some point enter the business full-time. That's the plan. Um, continue to establish our brand uh, business, get recognised within Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire, um, providing a really good service for our customers. Um, we want to start investing in property, so hopefully later this year we'll, we'll be in a position to, to do that. Yeah. And then at some point we want to start a family. Um, so how has life changed? Well, um, I think Catherine touched on it. You definitely don't have more time. Like, <laughs> um, it can be quite stressful. So I popped in a photo of a roller coaster there because that has literally been our journey over the last since since we started the yeah, business. Yeah. Um, so you have a lot of stress, obviously, uh, but some really big highs, and um, I think the highs definitely um, outwin all the stress that's involved. Um, but firstly, we get to work together, which we agree on most things, don't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, we do. We do. We do, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is, it is really good. It is really good to work together. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we support each other, don't we, every day. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Next point. <laughs> um, so we're definitely more positive. We're kind of just like go for it attitude, not just business, but like day to day, like in general, like personal life. So we'll like, we'll book things, we'll book weekends away and things like that. Won't we more kind of off the cuff rather than thinking, oh, I can't do that. So that's, that's definitely a big change. We're more confident. I say we're more brave, definitely. Um, we're definitely determined. We're excited about the future. Yep. Um, we're proud to be business owners, entrepreneurs. I think, I think when we started this out, some family members, friends maybe thought, oh, you know, we just, you know, it's another kind of side hustle or, you know, kind of business that won't pay off. But actually, I think we're proving people wrong and yeah. we're really proud to say, look, yeah, we own Lazy Days, um, Lazy Days Gardening Services. This is what we're doing. We're packed out and we've got some really, really good customers as well. So, yeah, we're really proud. Um, and then, yeah, although you're super, super busy, you work really hard, you have got that extra freedom and flexibility yeah. as, as well. So, so top tips. Um, we've definitely learned make time for yourself, marriage, partner, family, whoever that may be. I mean, we have a Google Calendar set up. Block out that time on your Google Calendar. Friday is our date night, so typically it involves just going down the pub. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. Like if that's all it is, just make that time for your family or whoever it is. Um, and then after 9 p.m., we said we strictly don't talk about business unless it's an emergency. If we do, there's a one pound penalty that goes into the honeymoon fund. <laughs> Um, if you have a team, define responsibilities. So I think we've kind of figured that one out. Um, use the shift to success community. Um, I think you said there is a stupid, there is a thing as a stupid question. I mean, I ask stupid questions all the time, but it's a safe space. I mean, you basically ask ask whatever you want in there. Um, I'm going to be honest. Like failure does happen. We've kind of experienced that this year. It caused a lot of stress. Um, but you learn from it, you move on, you don't look back, you only look forward and that's only going to help develop your business going forward as well. Um, and yeah, just, just get on with it. Um, so although we, we work really hard, like there's Jack kind of half dead like, on the lawn, and the dog like thinking, <laughs> um, you just, just get on with it and yeah. it's, it's worth it. So yeah, exciting, exciting times ahead. So yeah, thank you. Laura and Jack Corbett. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Very well done. Thanks, Very Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.